What's up guys, Tim Malcolm here. What a day it's been, crazy Monday. Bitcoin still being a little bipolar, but today I've got five micro coins, guys, all under a penny each that I think should be on your radar. Wolfpack, are you ready? Let's go, let's rock. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you guys have had a very good Monday. Mine has been crazy as usual. Uh, it's cold outside in Charlotte, North Carolina. As you can see, I'm in my full winter get up here. But uh, thank you guys so much for the support you've been showing me on all the videos, guys. Hopefully we can keep this momentum going. We are approaching 4,000 subscribers, and I would really like to see that happen in the next couple of days. And I'm going to think that it will happen because you guys are amazing. The Wolf Pack has been amazing. That is what I have named all of you if you missed my other two videos. If you are subscribed and a part of the Tim Malcolm YouTube channel, you are officially part of the Wolfpack family. All right, so today's a little bit different type of video. I'm not posting a video on how to make tons of APY percentage on your investment. But today, you know, guys, we got to balance out our money and we got to invest several different ways to be successful. Never put all your eggs in one basket. So if you're putting money into DAOs or high yield farming, that's great. But uh, you also just want to look at buying, you know, some regular tokens and just hoping that, you know, they'll catch on and do you a nice 5, 10, 15, 50x. Uh, so I picked out five. Now, full transparency, guys, I own every one of these coins and I picked the five that have done well for me so far. All five of these I am up on uh, since where I bought them, but some of them are at really good prices because of the last couple of crashes. Uh, and the very first one, if you watch other YouTubers, you probably have heard of UFO Gaming. UFO Gaming, as you can see, is several digits away from hitting the one penny mark. Uh, but if we go down here and look at all-time highs, it's down about 54%. So this is one of those tokens that literally I bought, and at one time, I was about 1,200% up on this token, but it was under Ethereum. And when I went to sell this token, the Ethereum fees were way too high. So uh, I ended up not being able to sell any because the fees were going to be like four or 500 bucks. So I got kind of stuck with it and uh, I'm down on it now, but I'm still up about 300%. So it's a good time for you to buy to get into it. It started off as a meme coin and now it's kind of transitioning into a gaming coin. So it kind of has the best of both worlds with the categories that it's in. Some quick information if we go to their website. Mortal something big is happening. Uh, let's see if it's got any information here about us. Okay, UFO Gaming, a fully decentralized gaming platform bridging traditional games onto the blockchain and giving players the ability to earn while playing blockchain, P2E, Metaverse, Virtual Land, NFT, and Gaming. So right there I'm seeing a lot of buzzwords that everybody is excited about right now in the market. UFO will be the primary utility token of the Dark Metaverse. In the Dark Metaverse, each game that we release will represent its own planet. The first game or planet that we release in the Dark Metaverse is Super Galactic. Super Galactic is a decentralized game with a unique NFT collection and an auto battler built on the Ethereum network and integrated with a hyperscalable Polygon L2 solution. To play Super Galactic, you need a playable character. These are NFTs called UFO Eps. To mint UFO Eps, you must first farm plasma points with the native UFO token. So, well, sounds like a lot of nerd talk to me. However, uh, sometimes the nerdiest stuff will bring you the most money. So anyway, guys, I'm not going to read all of this to you, but UFO is definitely one that has done very well for me, and it's down right now, 50% uh, from its all-time high, and I think that it has the ability to go well past the all-time high. So this is definitely one that would be on my radar. Uh, number two, guys, this is a token that I have been in for a very long time. One of the first coins I ever bought was FEG. Uh, and I want to say that stands for Feed Every Gorilla, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. Uh, the cool thing about FEG is it has its own app that you can download. I have an iPhone, so I know it works for iOS. I'm pretty sure it works for Samsung, too. 
and you know for holding feg it constantly keeps giving you more and more feg and the longer you hold it you don't have to stake it it just automatically once you download the app and put your wallet address in it automatically starts giving you more and more the longer you hold uh it's been pretty consistent i've actually cashed out of it a couple of times and made a little bit of money i didn't put a ton in it but uh this is one that i feel like it's just been kind of neglected a lot of people haven't really talked about it but um i think that it has the opportunity to go up there towards like floki and shiba as far as you know uh the the, the marketing tactics they do and the the type of uh, staking that they do it definitely has some things about it that i like let's look real quick and just scroll through um so yep they're burning so they've got it on ethereum and binance and as you can see it's a hundred quadrillion tokens so that's one of the things that has kept this price low however they are burning uh, so that's good. FEG token is redesigning the way decentralized finance DeFi is structured. FEG token is focused on reshaping and involving how DeFi works completely while delivering the most robust ecosystem ever designed for DeFi's much needed advancements. So you can see on here and they've got, this is a whole little like marketing thing guys. So again, like the gorillas, the apes, that's really big. And even in the stock market with the whole uh, GameStop and uh, AMC deal. But uh, now it's kind of carried into crypto too, you know, with the expression of don't ape in or, you know, they aped in, etc. But uh, check them out. You can buy it really, really cheap. As you can see, uh, all time highs, it's down 93% right now. 93%. So I feel like if you were ever going to enter this, now is the time. Look at that chart, boy. Woo! Up and down, up and up and down. That's, that's a lot of whale games right there, is what I'm seeing. But uh, not a bad one to throw a little bit of money in and just ride it out and see what happens. But again, do your own research, guys. Number three, we're going to go right into it. Metadods actually is a real shocker for me. I've made more money on Metadods than I think any of the other coins that we're going to talk about today. Uh, don't be confused. There are two different coins called Metadodge. Uh, make sure that this little emblem right here is the one that you're looking on because they have the same tickers and the same names. But as you can see, here's their website right here. Experience the most exciting metaverse journey with Metadodge and his friends. Okay. Uh, merging the two biggest trends in crypto history. Um, let's see. NFT staking. They have, and I think they have their own NFTs as well. Now, I own the token. I don't own any of their NFTs. Uh, join MetaDog and his friends as they explore the Metaverse. Uh, the estimated staking APY for each category as follows. Legendary, 750% APY on a legendary NFT. Epic, 500%. Rare, 375%. Uncommon, 312%. Common, 250%. So guys, uh, buying any of their NFTs stakes for a lot here. I mean, that's really good APY. They got a marketplace uh, where you can buy... So, um, you know, I haven't really looked into the NFT part that much. Like I said, I just happened to own some of the token. It was one of those that I just kind of bought on a whim. But I am like 350% up right now, even during the crash. So as you can see, it's only 11% away from all-time highs. This is one of the tokens that over the last couple of weeks, while everything else has been going down, this one has still managed to have some green days fairly regularly. So they are clearly doing something right. In fact, let's take a look at their Twitter real quick and just see what it says. Uh, I'm not even following them. Uh, that's the contract number. 8.1 million market cap, over 10,000 holders, nearly 1,000 staking NFTs. So again, guys, they've got a nice little community going on and uh, clearly are doing something right because during a crash, they've managed to continue to add value. So, um, again, I would definitely say to check them out. All right, number four, guys. This one is the weirdest one on the list that I just don't understand why it's not doing better than it is. And let me explain. Altbase, uh, it was just rebranded. So, before, when this launched, it was called 100X. And a guy that goes by the name of Ken the Crypto on Twitter, uh, this is his baby. He launched a 100X coin probably... I want to say now it's probably been eight, ten months ago. But the token was really designed to be a shitcoin 
and he's come out and said that, but he was developing an app with it. So the app, which has now been rebranded Altbase, he decided to rebrand the entire token uh, to Altbase, which you know caused a little bit of confusion a month or two ago when he did it. But what this is and why I think this has the opportunity to pop, guys, if this guy had money for a marketing campaign, I feel like this token could be huge. This is an app for your phone, which he has on Google and Apple, that literally you download and it makes it as easy as buying a lot of crypto tokens with a debit card like like you're buying a t-shirt. Uh, he finally made the app that we've all longed for, and there are some very interesting, hard-to-find coins. For example, I haven't looked at the app in a month or so ago, but the last time I looked, you could buy XRP on this app. And you literally, it's like one click, like you're buying like a PayPal transaction. So uh, the idea is phenomenal. He had some growing pains with um, the iOS. Apparently, Apple has a lot more restrictions and regulations that uh you know you have to abide by to get your app listed on there so he missed a couple deadlines uh with the release of the ios app but other than that i mean i haven't seen really another app on the market like this and this is what could be a huge tool to kind of bring in that new retail money of people that you know when you're watching a video or never going to figure out how to work, you know, Binance and PancakeSwap or Ethereum and Uniswap. So the opportunity here is huge to make it seamless for your crypto noobs to be able to just get on and buy some coin. Kind of like as easy as Cash App has now made it to buy Bitcoin. But this is for altcoins and a lot of the coins on there are not top 100 coins there are coins that, you know, uh, are a little bit harder to find that aren't on as many exchanges. So I think it's a brilliant idea. I'm shocked that this coin has not taken off yet. But I, I feel like the reason why is just because nobody's heard of it. So that's why I wanted to include it in this list. Like, if this guy can get the marketing right, I think I read that um, the developers or the app, he actually got some of the developers that worked on Candy Crush and I think Airbnb. So there it was some big developers that worked on the app for this. So um, again, they've gone through a rebranding. They went through the pains of iOS. They've definitely had some, some, uh, some roadblocks that they've gone through, but uh, it's cheap. You know, I haven't lost money on this, but I haven't really made anything. It's kind of just sat around. Also, when they did the the transfer from 100x to Altbase, he got rid of a ton of coins. So, for example, if you had like 37 million 100x coins when you traded to Altbase, you had like 37,000. So he wanted to shave a bunch of zeros and make it like more. He didn't want a shit coin anymore. Is really the only way to say it. So uh, that confused some people too, um, you know. He, so again, there's just been a lot of bad little things that's happened to the guy with this project. But he makes videos on YouTube. He updates his Twitter regularly. He's the developer. He always is coming out and talking about it. So he's not anonymous, uh, and he gets on and he interacts with people on live streams on YouTube and stuff. So definitely check Alt Base out. Uh, I know that he's adding some more stuff to it, and it's just going to continue to grow. And as soon as it's just gonna take one big YouTuber to cover it, and uh, I feel like it'll it'll blow at that point. So be early before you know when it's a much bigger YouTuber than me that, that talks about it. If you buy now, you, I always tell you guys you want to buy before everybody starts talking about something. That's how you're gonna make the most money. And last but not least, guys, we have Avax Launcher, which uh, Avax Launcher is really cheap, guys. Uh, right now, it's down 96% from all-time highs. I do not understand that because Avax is on fire right now. But uh, Avax Launcher is a launching protocol for the Avax uh, network. And uh, I feel like Avax is the first incubator and launchpad for the Avalanche ecosystem. I mean, guys, we've seen how much, like, um, Star Launcher and some of the other launching protocols have just mooned. You know, it only takes one or two good games or projects to launch on there, and I feel like you just can't go wrong investing in the AVAX ecosystem right now. 
so you can buy into this really really cheap I mean it's it's still like a digit away from hitting a cent so uh, but again it's been as high as 25 cents so at a 96% off discount and with AVAX you know continually going up during this crash again I just feel like you can't go wrong with it uh, if you go to their team here's your founder so they're not anonymous that's always something I look for and then here's the tier system for uh, if you stake um, you know kind of how much pool you're gonna have a lot of the protocols are going to that uh, I was looking to see if they have any upcoming uh, projects that are releasing on here but backers and supporters I don't really recognize any of those right off chance uh, it's fun to see their Twitter so 116,000 followers so a lot of people are aware of this uh, looks like December 9th they just uh, redid some of their tier system I was looking to see if they had any upcoming launches and that's probably why the token is so low right now because they don't have any upcoming launches but if they had a big game or a big NFT project coming up I think you would see a lot more interest in people holding this so again you always want to look for some that the spotlight is not on in that moment and I feel like this is perfect they don't have a lot going on right now but you know as soon as they do AVAX isn't going anywhere guys I promise you when they need launch pads so to me it's a no-brainer and you can get a lot of this token for very cheap uh, and I don't know if you can stake it for money or whatever but um, it's possible you can stake it at least to have a better chance of getting an IDOs in the whitelist so it does have some sort of utility and function but that's my top five picks guys post in the comments below guys what you're uh, under one penny coins are that you believe in and why and uh you know maybe i'll do a part two to this with five more picks under a penny if uh, if you guys throw out some good ideas and i don't have to think too hard about it because my brain is not feeling like thinking very hard today so um we're gonna put the like goal at this guys at 100 likes that's the most aggressive like goal i've ever had but i think we can do it because we've been getting really close to 100 on some of the other videos and guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Again, post in the comments what your top picks under a penny is. And guys, I will see you on the next one. Thank you guys so much for being here. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Can't say it enough. Say it till I'm blue in the face. Wolfpack, have a good day.